Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Wowhead Weekly number 57. This episode is pretty much all about BlizzCon. I would say like 95% BlizzCon probably. So I hope that you like talking about BlizzCon. How about you, Perk? You like talking yeah, about BlizzCon? I love talking about BlizzCon. Um, I've been planning this party for such a long time. I, I just want to keep talking and sharing the details we finally got resolved. And of course... The party is the day before BlizzCon, so we have, know. you know, BlizzCon to talk about, and then there's even holidays going on, so yeah, I think we should start by talking about the party and some of the really cool things at the party. Alright, well, I'm super excited for the party as well. As you guys know, uh, there's two hosts this year for the party. There's the stage host, which is the lovely Hafu, everybody loves Hafu, and then I will be hosting the live stream portion because, hey, look, look what I do, I live stream things. <laughs> um, but there's so much fun stuff going on at the party this year. We have a claw machine. Yep. And it's going to have dozens of Pepe's <laughs> and Frost Wolf Plushes and Murky Murlocs. Yep, that's this one. Yep. And uh, you'll have a limited amount of time to navigate the claw machine and hope it picks up the item. Uh, you, we're going to limit you to around once an hour. And we've also got some special Blizzard prizes we can't reveal yet, which will be in the claw machine. Top secret. Not yep. Murky, though. He's not a secret. He'll be there. Pepe will be there. And Frost Wolf I don't have one of the Frost Wolf pup plushes he's behind me but I I, with this hat i don't want to move around and get yeah. him so <laughs> it's okay we can see him he's right behind yeah. you yeah i never got one of those i don't know why i think it was originally like a blizz it sold thing, out and then it sold out yeah and, but i do have the murloc um yeah we're super excited about that i can't wait until we find out what the blizzard prize is because i don't even know I, nobody tells me anything <laughs> keeping it a secret from you uh, yeah I, nobody tells me anything yeah. um we also are going to have a prize wheel which is really exciting um if you're going to be at the party you can get a token from a stat from a staff member by doing an activity is there are we telling what the activity is uh, not yet, oh. um, but for example, if you come up to me and like maybe you answer some WoW trivia, I'll give you a token, Yeah. Or, like, if you give me a pin, you'll get a token. Uh, this is just so the prize wheel doesn't get mobbed because <laughs> like we have thousands of people coming to the party and we want people that put a little bit of effort into it to yeah. be able to spin the wheel because you got some really cool prizes on the prize wheel. Yeah, there's, um, I think the big prize is from Logitech, which is a yeah. G410 keyboard and a G430 headset, but there's also going to be Jinx Faction t-shirts, Jinx Alliance Horde and Hearthstone stickers, Lumberjack Uther skin codes from Blizzard for Heroes of the Storm, uh, those Series 2 collectible pins from Blizzard, the cute but deadly lanyard starter pack, which also comes with four yeah. of the pins. Um, there is the Hearthstone Dwarf Talking Bottle Opener. There is the Summon Loot Crate, which features the stressy squish ball as well and as... the coin, yeah, which this, is super pretty. This coin with the card, which Perk and I... Oh, don't touch your nose, Danielle. Don't touch your nose. Uh, there'll also <laughs> be Wowhead Party Pins as well as Wowhead Premium Codes. So there's a lot of prizes, and that's not even all of them. The prize wheel yeah. and the claw machine are not all of the prizes. Right. There's also going to be other giveaways like um, Jinx Hearthstone hats, more plushies including Pepe, Dark Whelplings, the Murky Murlocs. Who's the um, orange guy? Yeah, the oh, Alliance and Horde, blankets, wristbands, pins, additional site swag. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, and finally we're having grand prize raffles. You get Yay. a ticket when you enter the party. And raffles will periodically be picked uh, throughout the night for these prizes. And we'll read the numbers on stage and we'll also post them on Wildhead's front page in case you missed it for whatever reason. And they're going to include uh, Jinx uh, Mega Bundles, uh, which are featuring apparel from all your favorite Blizzard games. And I believe some of the new uh, Blizzard merchandise they just revealed today. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, that Queen of Blades shirt, though. Yeah. I think that's in there. I'll have to check. Ugh, but we're getting some really new shirt. merchandise for that. Yeah. So a few of those bundles with like a ton of shirts in them. Um, we'll have two uh, GeForce GTX 970 graphics cards, uh, courtesy of uh, Gigabyte. Yeah. So super nice graphics cards. Super nice graphics cards. Yeah. We will have um, a few six-month Loot Crate subscription codes, and we'll also be saving one for people that are watching at home. We also do giveaways, you know, digital code stuff like yep. that. If you can't make it, that's my and job. Yep. And we also have, I know this is Killing Panzer, I we know. have several Funko Pop, Golden Illidan, I'm and Golden Deathwing figurines to give out courtesy of Blizzard. And they're super rare, like they were just available from various conventions in Asia, but the gear shop has some, so we're getting them to give out. 
I'm giving you dirty looks. She's making me give them away. Like, she knows I'm a yeah. huge pop collector. I have, like, 80 pops. I have all the World of Warcraft pops except for the golden ones. And she's like, oh, so you're the perfect candidate to give these away. You can touch them, but I'm you can't keep them. I'm also making you giving, give away the horde blankets as well. Listen, listen, <laughs> you're, you're getting joy out of this. I know you are. <laughs> On the bright side, though, there's going to be a lot of other fun stuff going on with the live stream, including um, giant plushies, um, which I'm super excited about. I was supposed to grab pictures of those, but I didn't because I'm a terrible, terrible person that was too concentrated on deer makeup. But I'll post some (laughs) on my uh, Twitter feed a little bit later. They're really cool. They're literally like this tall, like four four feet tall and huge. They're just giant, like oversized versions, but they're in the same proportions as these plushies. And there's going to be the wyvern as well as the griffin and uh, one of the whelplings, right? Yeah, and they said we might even be getting more, but they're not sure how how you can bring them around. Like, we might get stitches. So... That would be pretty cool. But, I you know, we die! Have to in. You didn't tell me this until right now! <laughs> this guys! God! Now I'm gonna be so wildly disappointed if there is no stitches. <laughs> That's why I didn't tell you before. Oh my god! <laughs> guys! Was, I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make the... I, like, I... Ah! Oh, please! Please send Pie Blizzard. Please bring stitches. That would be amazing. Now, what time does the live stream start, Perk? The live stream starts around 6.30. We'll be warming it up. And then, uh, you know, you'll be starting 6.45 around there, you know, with giveaways. And then we'll have several rounds of guests with a few breaks in there. And it runs until 10.30 or so because, you know, the party ends at 11 and we're just wrapping things up. And people want to grab, you know, prizes at the end. So, yeah, it's to be about, you know, three or four hours of streaming. And, yeah, do you want to say anything about the guests or what your role is? or Yeah, I have it. All right. Yeah, okay, so I have not... 100% confirmed who is going to be uh, guesting on the live stream with me, but I'm pretty confident I can drag Ben and uh, Jen and Badgira. They're just Ben now. They're just (laughs) (laughs) Badgira. Yeah, just merge them together. Um, I'm pretty sure I can convince Jenny and Badgira to be on the stream. Michelle Morrow said she was definitely going to be on the stream and she's going to try to bring the other hosts of BlizzCon as well. I'm sure that Crendor will be there. Um, There's just, there's a lot of people coming. Coming as VIPs, uh, Yogg's cast reached out to me, Terpster and etc. reached out asking to be there. So I'm going to be like, well, yeah. I gave you VIP. Be on the stream now. <laughs> so, so, yeah. There's going to be you some can really... Watch it. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, I was just going to say there's going to be some really <laughs> cool people from the WoW community. Novel, if you're watching, be on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so. And, of course, you can watch the live stream at Twitch TV slash WoWhead. you now. And uh, we'll embed it also on the front page of WoWhead. And this is a really fun way that if you are can't make the party, you can watch along at home, see the guests, we'll turn the camera around onto like the claw machine and the cake and all that. And the post on Wowhead with the stream will have digital giveaways so you don't feel left out at home. Like the Loot Crate subscription, we always get some cool loot codes from WoW TCG Loot. And you know, like, you know, Blizzard Shop items, fun stuff like that. Yeah. So, Maybe yeah. they'll let me do the claw machine and the prize wheel. Probably not though. <laughs> I don't get to do you any get the giant plushies fun. as your I don't get to keep time. them. I don't get to keep them. Whatever perk. Just... I think one of them is being auctioned off as part of a charity event. Oh so my god! You guys, could get it if you wanted. To, I like, need money. You, know, <laughs> you guys, can buy the Crimson Wolfling plush. Outbid everyone. <laughs> It'd be so amazing. Uh, I wish I hadn't just purchased LASIK surgery because I would have wasted Welpling. my dollars on that. Yeah. Put your Wait. glasses on and look at the whelpling. <laughs> I don't need them anymore. I actually went to the doctor's yesterday and he said I'm healing really, really well. And I was seeing kind of blurry and he said it was just because I had this giant dry spot over my pupil and that it would clear up in like a week. So I'm really excited. That is neither here nor there. This is a transition to the Legion Art Gallery, which will be shown at, you guessed it, the Wowhead BlizzCon party. We had nearly 500 submissions and they were so, so amazing. We have a public gallery available on Wowhead of 200 of the submissions, yeah. give or take, of the staff's favorite. And then, of course, because I'm in charge of doing the things on the live stream, I figured I would show you some of my favorites. Look at that. That one is by Free Known. Oh, these are too short. These are too short. Oh. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to let him go through a couple times. I thought okay. it was like five seconds, but apparently it's only two seconds. I didn't plan right. well. I was not prepared. <laughs> 
But yeah, we printed out over about 100 pieces of the artwork to display at the party, and um, the winners will be picked very soon. We'll be announcing them the week of BlizzCon, and we have a really awesome Cintiq as a grand prize, and then three for the first prize, and then around 15 or so uh, runners-up that get a year of Wowhood Premium and a digital uh, Legion Collector's Edition whenever that comes out. So we wanted to highlight a bunch, and they'll be in the, sort of close to the stream, they'll be in the same room as the WoW Cake and the WoW live stream. And we have, Yay, you know, so many pieces, you can pose in front of it, you know, if you're the artist, bring your friends over. Yeah! Artists, so. please! Yeah, we're really, really excited about this. Uh, Perk and I have been talking about doing, like, an art contest type thing for a while. Um, because I think WoW has, like, really known as, like, a really positive place for the community. I think that a lot of people come yeah. and it's not so negative And people are always, like, saying what they like about the game and saying what they've accomplished. And it's just a very, like, warm community. So we've been wanting to do this art thing for a while. And with Legion coming out and the party and everything, it just seemed like really great timing. And it was so encouraging how many just so incredibly talented, amazing artists just, like, came out of the woodwork with their arts everywhere. Ugh. Yeah. Gives me feels. Like, there are so many communities I know people were like, oh, I have a tablet, but I'll let everyone in my art class know about it. And we got, you know, we got some people that were new to the site that weren't part of, you know, a Twitter community or DeviantArt that were just trying it for the first time. Yeah. I saw some really awesome ones shared on Reddit. So just people just seem really proud of it in general. And we got so many topics, you know, there's a ton of demon hunters, but they were really cool demon hunters. Yeah. We had, you know, artifact weapons, we had druid forms, we had the hunter torrent area and legion. We had a lot of cool topics. Yeah, there was a, there was a really pretty one, I didn't show it, of uh, Dalaran as well. There were, yeah. there were a bunch of amazing ones, and they were all over the board with, like, what they entered and what they were interested the in. The different I'm... styles, too. You know, you have, like, super realistic, oh, and you've got, I like, know. You know, gritty and dark, and then you've got some more, like, cartoon happy ones. I really liked, and... like, that Illidan one that was in my slideshow that's almost, like, abstract. Like, if you look at it, it's just kind of shapes and shades as yeah. opposed to... I, I don't know. I was really impressed. So if you entered, please know that I am... I have been impressed and very... I'm really... I liked it. <laughs> I'm Panzer and I'm a deer and I liked it. Anyway, <laughs> pin trading at BlizzCon. Yeah. You want to talk a little bit about this? Part? Yeah, sure. So pin trading was something that was at BlizzCon last year and it was kind of small and they're really ramping it up this year. And um, it's if you're if you know Pinny Arcade or the Disney Pin Program, it's modeled after that. And you just basically collect pins at Blizzard events, and then you swap them at conventions with people that have pins that you don't have, and maybe you have a pin that they want to have. And pin trading officially at BlizzCon this year focuses on the 2014 pins, which are officially called Season 1, and the Season 2 pins, which are called, uh, you know, BlizzCon 2015. You just go to the pin area at the Darkmoon Fair in Hall A, and you swap pins with other fans or Blizzard employees who could be wearing some pretty rare ones. And we decided to make a pin trading guide, Blizzard asked us to make one, and we researched all the pins that Blizzard has ever put out. So we've covered, you know, Pinny Arcade and the pins that were sold for the very first time at, you know, BlizzCon 2008, um, how you can get the current ones, we've organized them by franchise, you can see all like the WoW ones and the Diablo characters, which pins have colors, which pins have gold variants. So, you know, definitely check that out if you're not sure which pins you want to bring, or maybe you have a pin and didn't realize it was that rare. So that's pretty cool. And um, we also have Wowhead Party Pin and Ball. Yes! And that, that's the coolest part em? of that. Ready? Bam! Yep. Ah! yep. So we will be giving these um, out at the party. We'll have lanyards with all of these pins. We've got two of the Wowhead Rocket. Um, we've got the Hearthhead Key. We've got Tracer and Mercy from Overking. And we've got a ton of ideas for next year. And if we open up a pin shop, people want to see Pepe on a rocket pin. They want to see the holiday logos become pins. So we, we can start up a regular pin business ourselves. <laughs> I know. Hold on. I just rubbed my nose. I'm fixing it. <laughs> okay. I can talk more about the Wowhead Party and pins. Fixing my nose. Fixing my nose. I'm done. I'm sorry. Okay. I, it's like It's like I know I'm not supposed to touch it. But so that's that you makes want you want to touch it even more. Yeah. Um, I'm super excited about the pins. I've been annoying the crap out of Perk. I think I've asked her 15 times if I can have one of the tracer pins. And she's like, yes, Panzer, you can have a tracer pin. Stop asking. <laughs> <laughs> 
We also have official pin involvement. Um, the Blizzard pins will also be at the Wowhead party. On the prize wheel, we have 75 of the Season 2 pins. So, you know, open that up, and if you get a pin you like, put it on your lanyard, go trade it. Um, we'll also have the Cupid Deadly lanyard on the prize wheel, which has those four really cute starter pins, and I'm wearing the lanyard with some of them. And you might even see some Blizzard employees wearing the rare um, Season 1 pins. There might be some of those blind packs floating around. So... Yeah, you know, check around. it out. Blizzard will also have a cork board with all the Season 2 pins on display in case you were on the fence about purchasing them or not. And yeah, also a shout out to the person who made the pins for Wowhead. Their shop is Gaming Pins on Etsy, and they did a really fantastic job. Yeah. We got one pin from them in 2014, and this year we're like, man, let's get five. And they look really good. Yeah, they look really, really great. They look... And what's nice is they're made out of, like, the same material, and they're the same style as the Blizzard pins. Like, here, I'll show you them one more time. Uh, Is this the right button? It is. Okay. So you see those, right? And now, if you come over to here, you can see they're, like, the same material and the same general style as the Blizzard pins. These are some of these cute but deadly ones, which, of course, the camera's not going to focus because that would make life too easy. But they're the same, like, metal, shiny material. Um, yeah. The Cupid Deadly ones are so, and I got the most, I said this, when we got our blind boxes, I got, who is this? Artanis, is that his name? I got more Tassadar. pins that I'm happy about. Let's I know, I you got know. Jaina, and my sister got Vala, and I got stupid, what's his name? Artanis. Artanis. Yeah, I bought I bought ten more packs this week because I wanted to get. I just wanted <laughs> to. I, a I, problem. <laughs> I was writing the pin trading guide and I wasn't really into pin trading, so I'm like, okay, like let me see if I can put myself in the mindset of someone so I can write a guide that answers the questions people want to know. Yeah. So I got um, a golden Vala. I don't know if people can see it. It's cool. Yay. And I got a regular tracer, which is super cool. Her pose oh, is very cool. Oh, I'm so jealous. And I got three Ortanis and two Deathwing and two Rainer, and I wasn't as excited about those. Oh my god, no, I would be excited about Deathwing. But see, so that's the, so that's how it works. So I can be like, hey, you have this you want pin. My I want. <laughs> if you didn't have an Ortanis, <laughs> I would. We could totally make a trade, and that's how it works. And I think Dang. it's cool because it, occur- it encourages socialization as so you, well. Like, yeah. So you don't want my Ortanis then? I have three. <laughs> well, you could have four. <laughs> Think of the possibilities. <laughs> oh, so, I'm sorry. I apologize. If you do want any of those pins, you can meet me at the Wowhead party. Oh, you're going to give them the pins and not me. I see. I got if it. If you have an Alex Straza I got or it. a regular Vala, then we can trade. Oh, my God. <sighs> We're and done that's with how this pin trading topic. Works. Pin trading ends friendships. <laughs> it's like Monopoly. <laughs> Moving on to BlizzCon. Prob- we so should th- probably go over basic party info again, because we wouldn't told the details, but it didn't actually, like, oh, yeah. say when it was. The party <laughs> is Thursday, November 5th, between 6 and 11 p.m. on the fifth floor of the Hilton Anaheim. And there's lots of entrances. There's lots of different spaces. There's going to be a gaming lounge. And there's going to be, like, the area where the live stream is. There's going to be a stage where Hafu is. There's going to be a cake area with the art gallery. And a photo booth. And a photo booth. And, yeah, the prize wheel and the claw machine. Yep. And we also... We had several bars in each area, but based on the RSVPs, we increased the number of bars because there were a lot of people RSVPing. <laughs> That's so. a really good idea, though, because the last I didn't go to uh, BlizzCon last year because I was getting married. But last the last BlizzCon I went to, there was only like I want to say two bars, maybe three. Yeah, and it was awful. The lines were like a half an hour minimum. Like so, you'd have people going up there and then ordering like six drinks because. <laughs> because they wouldn't want to come back and wait in line for a half hour again. So yeah. I think it's a good idea that you increase the bars. Although my idiot eye doctor was like, you shouldn't drink. It dehydrates you, and that's bad for your eyes. And I was like, you should stop judging me, Dr. Judgy <laughs> Pants. If I, you do want to RSVP, wowheadparty.splashthat.com. Yep. Um, you can show up without RSVP. Yep. It's free, but this helps us get to get a sense of who's coming. It helps yep. us with the bars, and it, it, it gives you a little email reminder and calendar reminder. Yeah. So that so. that's all about the party, and we're really, really excited about it. 
Yeah, if you have any more questions about it, we can answer party questions at the end, but yeah. we should also talk about actual BlizzCon, BlizzCon stuff. BlizzCon. <laughs> this is BlizzCon opening week, so it is between October 28th and November 1st. Uh, this is where all the preliminary esports tournaments for WoW, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, and StarCraft go on. Um, the BlizzCon esports hub is, a, is really improved this year compared to past years with interactive brackets, information on each team's schedules, and links to live streams and VODs, because there is a really there's a lot bigger yeah. of uh esports it's not just a little bit year. it's like yeah it's like a truck is in yeah the yeah it's yeah. yeah it's way i mean it used to kind of just be like oh here's starcraft and diablo and now there's this little hearthstone area over here and yeah. now it's like heroes of the storm hearthstone arena I, yeah, people and still it's play good to Starcraft, clarify right? that like opening week is for people. It's it's just the esports stuff. It's not like Anaheim has yeah. stuff happening, so no, you're not no. actually missing anything. Because no, I think it's a little missing. misleading for people at home being like, "Oh my god, did I miss the Legion panel?" No, 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 no. Yeah. This is just the opening week for esports. And you know, since we were just talking about Starcraft, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm derailing the conversation. Did you see the new announced hero for Overwatch? That was so so clever. Cute, and it was so clever. And everybody's freaking out about this new hero, Diva. But like, did anybody notice that they outwardly hinted at a uh, at like a at a South South Korean map? Because it says she wants to protect her homeland. It doesn't say she wants to protect Gibraltar. She she doesn't want to protect. King's Row. No, she wants to protect her homeland, which makes me feel like there's going to be, like, a soul-inspired Yeah, map. and it was pretty clever how, like, she was showing up on the StarCraft, you know, global yeah. tournament site as a player profile, so she was, yeah. just, you know, kind of hidden in there. Yeah, really and, yeah, cute. her outfit's Although, super cute. Yeah. It was a weird time to announce it. It was, like, five in the morning Eastern time when they announced it. That seemed weird. Was that based Maybe on Korean were... time? Was that, it is that be. why? Because that's oh, that, that could be. Yeah, that, I think I think that's what it was. Okay. Or maybe, like, Europe as well? Maybe. So. Probably. Well, since she's supposed to be Korean, I bet it's Korean. I don't yeah. know anything about time zones. Back, <laughs> Back to BlizzCon. To BlizzCon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk a little about the interviews? Yeah, so um, we have two interviews scheduled. Uh, one is a design interview on Friday and an art interview on Saturday. And when we put the bottom of this up, you can leave a comment in the post with any questions uh, you'd like us to ask. Although, keep in mind that the interviews will be after some pretty major announcements. So, you know, if they announce something pretty, you know, pretty mind-blowing, we'll probably be asking about that. So don't feel bad if we can't answer your question. But we're pretty excited about that, having two of them. I don't think I've had an art interview before. But, you know, it makes sense with the Legion Art Contest and... All the other stuff, you know, we do and all those, you know, zone videos and in-game screenshots. So, yeah, if you have any questions about either, um, you know, leave a comment in the post on the front page on Saturday and we will take a look at them. Yeah. Um, so this is exciting for me. My hair is doing really strange things back here. Don't mind me if I keep fixing it. Um, (laughs) This is really exciting for me and I almost feel like awkward talking about it because I don't know. Senpai noticed me, and I'm actually going to be live streaming from the BlizzCon floor to my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash trade chat, on Friday from 3.30 to 6 Pacific time. Um, I don't know what game. I'm obviously hoping for Legion, but I would be... Starcraft. Yeah, Starcraft. Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, God. But you never know. I mean, they might announce something really big Hearthstone-related that they want shown off. They might announce, like, new heroes or something in Overwatch that they want to announce. So we'll see. But I'm really, really hoping that I can live stream some Legion for you guys. I'm also going to have a meet and greet at the Jinx booth if you're going to the convention, and that will be on Saturday from 10.30 in the morning until noon. So they're going to have like a whole photo area and everything. So of course, I'm going to be around the convention, but if you did want to meet me and like we can like hug or something, I don't know. I'm so awkward about this kind of stuff, but I love meeting people. It's like why I go to conventions. So I would love to meet you. I would love to take a picture with you and you can do that at the Jinx booth from 1030 to noon. And if you're interested in watching a live stream from BlizzCon, again, that's going to be at twitch.tv slash trade chat from 330 to six o'clock Pacific time on Friday, which is November 6th. Okay. And we'll also be doing a Wildhead Weekly thing, which probably won't be live streamed, but we'll, you know, do an impromptu show and yeah. someplace summarizing everything. Yeah, we'll figure out. Last year we out. took over the esports stage. I don't know about this year because esports is like super high security, <laughs> but we'll find a good place and we'll do a show. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, a lot of people last week asked us about like advice 
for like new goers to BlizzCon or people who maybe hadn't been to conventions before. So Perk wrote up a really nice guide kind of thing i guess for us to talk about right now so you want to just go back and forth yeah sure let's just yeah bounce it up so i'll start you should wear comfortable shoes because there are really long lines everywhere and you're going to be walking a ton and don't worry about being fashionable like if you want to wear nice shoes out to dinner with your friends just like put them in a bag and just wait in line wearing nice sneakers closed toe closed toe shoes don't want people stepping on your toes yeah you're gonna be waiting in a lot of lines yeah, on ladies, concrete, I would is, not yeah. recommend wearing heels at all. Like, yeah. it's a lot of walking. Um, another thing that's on our list is to bring hand sanitizer with you and, like, make sure that you're practicing general hygiene because when you get people that are all that close together, even if every single person is showering, like, every day, it's still going to get a little smelly. So, like, it's going to be ten times worse if you've got people that are unclean so no <laughs> perfume to mask the smell because that can sound that can smell really intense yeah like don't don't overdo the cologne or anything just try to like practice good neutral hygiene and make sure you're bringing hand sanitizer and that you are washing your hands anytime that you get a chance because it's obviously a lot of germs a lot of compact people and there's people from like different countries so there's straight up stuff you've never been exposed to proceed with caution <laughs> yeah <laughs> so next thing on the list is that There is generally bad phone and internet reception at the con, especially when they announce something really big at, say, the opening ceremony, the internet will just die. (laughs) So if you're meeting up with friends, get their numbers in advance, try to plan a meeting spot in advance, Um, and if you're coming from out of the country, think of an international travel plan um, so your cell phone is not getting ridiculous you know, roaming yeah. charges or international fees. And uh, the convention does have Wi-Fi, and I think they're upgrading it, but I don't think it's done quite yet. And do keep in mind, there's thousands of people trying to get Wi-Fi um, at once. Yeah, it's the, you're, you're probably gonna have to wait till you get to your hotel to really do anything on your phone. It's just, it's a yeah. lot of people. It's, and that's like that at most conventions. It's not like, it's not like that's BlizzCon uh, right. exclusive. Um, there's also going to be lines for popular events like the opening ceremony, the closing ceremony, any uh, demos of particularly new things like if they have Legion that's playable um, or if they have like new heroes for Overwatch. I think Overwatch in general will still be very popular. So if there's something you want to see, plan on waiting in line. Uh, make sure that you're scheduling your day so that you're not missing one thing while waiting in line for another thing. Yeah, so um, the next thing is that food and drinks. You uh, can't bring food and filled water bottles into the convention. Um, So you can bring an empty one and fill it in there. So plan out your food because you can buy food at the convention center, but it's obviously going to be pricey. Yeah. So think of places outside you can get it. There's always gourmet food trucks right outside, and they're really good. I can vouch for it. They show up to Blizzard like once a month, so they're really good. The Hilton has... A really nice restaurant for brunch, but there's also a fast food court with, yeah. like, you like know, McDonald's and Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's places that are just farther away. Like, there's a 7-Eleven that's nearby that's good for snacks. Um, if you want to do any dinners with your friends, get reservations, reservations in advance. Reservations, yeah. Like, there's nice restaurants at Disney. Um, like, well, so sort of Disney owns the town. Um, but, yeah, get reservations and just be prepared to walk, like... You might think, oh, this is like two city blocks away, but blocks are really big in California, so yeah. it's going to take some time to walk around and get to all those places. Yeah, for sure. I plan, if you're walking somewhere and it's a mile, you're probably going to want to plan about 20 minutes just because, like, there's so many people. It's, it's You're not yeah. just talking about, like, oh, I'm, I can walk that in, you know, 11 minutes or something, because there's people and there's cars and there's traffic. And that goes back to the comfortable shoes. And, yeah, and back to comfortable <laughs> shoes again. Um, and I think bringing a water bottle that's empty is a really good plan because you can bring empty water bottles, which you can then fill at water. Like, there's water fountains, yeah. which you're going to pay, like, six bucks for a bottle of water at the con, so why not not yeah. do that? <laughs> um, it also does, even though it's really hot in California during the day, it does get cool at night, so it's a good idea to bring a jacket or a sweatshirt. Maybe if you're a girl, don't wear shorts if you're not going to be able to change before the evening because you're probably going to be cold walking around. Yep. So another tip is that it's pretty busy and overwhelming at BlizzCon. It's usually the first con for a lot of people. So it's totally okay if you need a break or if you're delayed or if you're like, I need to go sleep so I don't pass out. Like, I need to go eat. I can't go to this next party or event. So, you know, like just... Just do what's okay for you. Be respectful of others. If you haven't met someone before, ask before. 
giving them a gigantic hug because yes, maybe that person is yeah. like shy. Um, you know, don't touch people's cosplay props. If they look really fragile, like just ask before taking yeah, pictures or hugging before or anything, touching people. Really. It's yeah. just always better to ask than to just do. Um, and you, you kind of mentioned this very briefly, but if you are planning on going to parties, you had just mentioned parties and it reminded me of this. Yeah. Be, be aware. Okay, so the first year I went to BlizzCon, I got hammered every night I was there regrets were had I was like I felt sick all day you know like I didn't feel good who knows what idiotic things I did you know what I mean stuff like that so just if you are going to go out drinking like know your limits make sure that you're drinking water that you're eating first because like you don't want your second day or even if you come to the wowhead party you don't want your first day at the con to be ruined because you're hungover um yeah I mean like we're you know we, we make jokes that we'll get something to drink at the VIP bar but it's like you know, we have to work the next day. We're going yeah. to be, you know, responsible about yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> so just try not to, like, overdo it. But not only, not just for everybody else's sake, just for your own sake, because it's it's really not fun to be hungover at a convention. And But you also don't want to skip it because you paid all that money for those tickets. So Yeah. I also had a tip that I forgot, which was when you're packing, you're going to be getting that goodie bag as part of your ticket package. So find a place to put it. Like, leave empty space if you're getting yeah. any merchandise. If you're getting a poster, bring poster tubes because they can sell out pretty quickly at the FedEx. Yeah. And also, um, like, everyone's going to be taking around that BlizzCon messenger bag or the Overwatch backpack. So if you don't want to take it and show off, put something on it so you can tell yours apart from other people. Yeah. Or just bring a different bag because it seems really likely that people will get mixed up and pick up your bag instead of... Their own yeah, bag and that yeah. I don't sad. know if I would even recommend carrying either of those things at the convention, just because, like you said, there are going to be a lot of people who have the same ones, and like, what if you had a yeah. camera or something in there? And it, I'm not saying anybody would steal it because it's actually BlizzCon's a pretty good place as far as like some conventions. Like, if you turn your back, people will steal your stuff. But like in my yeah. Experience. They have pretty good security. PAX and BlizzCon have not just good security, but just a good community in general, um, where you, that's not so much a fear of people being, like, you know, scum lords and stealing your right. stuff, but if you're all carrying the same bag, like, mistakes are bound to happen. Um, but there's a ton more tips on the WoWhead survival guide, so if you are still feeling like you need more information, that's where you can go to get it. I'm definitely yeah. going to sneeze, and I don't want to touch my nose. Yeah. Okay. It's um it's not live right now, but it'll be going live tomorrow. So if you're watching the VOD, it'll already be up. Yeah. And yeah, um also when the guide does go live, you can leave comments in the guide specifically if there's anything you feel that we should include and you know we can keep it updated for next year and the years after that. Yeah, someone in chat just said too that it's really not fun being hungover traveling on a plane. Agree. Oh, yeah. Been there. (laughs) So, yeah, just just make sure that you're not drinking enough to get sick is pretty much all I'm saying. I'm not telling you not to have a good time. I'm telling you not to drink. But just make sure that you eat first and that you're drinking water. Eat, drink, shower, wash hands. You should be drinking water a lot while you're there anyways because California is really, really dry. And especially from someone who lives in, like, New York where it rains constantly. Like, I will find myself getting, like, horrible headaches when I'm in California. Yeah, no, when I moved here, I got horrible headaches nonstop. Because um, it's it took so me much a while to adjust. I mean, you're so you're sweating because it's hot, and then it's yeah. just not a moist place in general. So just make sure you're drinking water because you're gonna feel so much better, and you're gonna have so much more energy. Just don't yeah. let yourself get dehydrated. It's not good for you. And I also we didn't talk about this either, but generally before conventions, about a week before, I start taking um, emergency every day when I wake up, and then I'll take it through the convention in the following week because it helps like boost your immune system, right? So that you don't get sick because I meet a lot of people at conventions and like I don't ever want to feel like oh well I can't shake your hand because right, I might be get con pox yeah. like the, you know what I mean like so just just be aware and conscious of your own health which is another reason you should drink a lot of water because it helps your immune system yeah I, the I'm guide done. will also include stuff like um we don't need we don't we don't need to get into all this now but it will include stuff like the artist panel or like the graffiti wall or the engineering yeah. panel so stuff that you want to see if you're specifically attending BlizzCon, that someone watching at home might not, not might not necessarily see on the live stream. Yeah. So, you know, like, can't miss things uh, like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should move on to stuff, advice, if you are not going to BlizzCon, but yeah, want I'm gonna, to I'm going to flip things. it over to you, and I'm going to put eye drops in my eyes. Okay. So, um, you can watch the, vir- you can watch BlizzCon from your home if you buy the virtual ticket. 
Um, we are giving a lot of virtual tickets away. Um, you can gift them to friends. Uh, the virtual ticket also lets you access the uh, gear shop with a special sale as well as getting in-game goodies for every game. Um, you should know your schedule in advance, uh, you know, pick what game or panel you're interested in watching. If you like esports, it's pretty exciting to watch that live as opposed to going back and watching it two weeks later. Um, the uh, BlizzCon live stream is going to be Friday and Saturday, uh, obviously. The WoW specific panels are at 12.30 to 2 on Friday for the Legion content overview, 2.15 to 3.15 for cinematics, 1 to 2 on Saturday for Mage and Legion features like, you know, artifacts and professions and demon hunters. And then 2.30 to 3.30 is the general um, Q&A, you know, people come up from the audience and ask the devs questions. Uh, we will be covering all of this um, on Wowhead's front page. We will be covering all the games that have panels and it will be at wowhead.com slash blizzcon. Um, if you've watched in past years, we try to make anything we can with data, so like an Overwatch database or a Warlord Talent Calculator. So if there's anything like that, we will make that. And we also generally have digital giveaways going on where if you comment on any of the BlizzCon coverage, you can get pretty cool things like a TCG mount or pet or... Yeah. Yeah, you know, just fun stuff like that. So, Maybe they'll have another yeah. pet. And sometimes at BlizzCon they announce mounts and pets. Oh, yeah, like last year they announced... Argy, um Agri... Argy. Yeah, Ar Ar Argy. Yeah, and, then, and uh, the 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 Fade Dragon. I yeah. thought was announced. Yeah. So no, the Fade yeah. Dragon was with the was with the Saint Bernard puppy, wasn't he? Oh, okay. I thought I think I think one they we data mined and then they confirmed it later. Yeah, I'm maybe. not sure. Whatever. But yeah. So, you know, we'll be trying to cover all that, and then, as mentioned, you know, if we stop by, like, the art gallery or the Dark Moon Fair or stuff that isn't on the live stream, we'll try to make a gallery of all that stuff that yeah. people at home can join in and feel good about. Yeah, and I got a nice camera recently, so I'm going to be taking lots of pictures, not just... Awesome. Not of myself, <laughs> of things. <laughs> and I'm bringing both of my cameras, too, because uh, my new camera takes really good pictures and really good videos, but it can only video for 17 minutes. And then it's like too hot, can't function. I need a oh, minute. Oh no! No, it's it's fine because good. my normal okay. videos do not take that long. And if they do, right. they're broken up enough where it's not a big deal for me to take a two minute yeah. break. But to get like B roll footage at a con, that's right. ridiculous. Yeah. So I'm bringing my old camera as well. So I want to make a video. If you guys watched like my New York Comic Con video, I want to make a similar video for BlizzCon. Only I would really like to do one for the party, one for day one, and one for day two, so that you know it's like yeah, ah, because I was really proud of that, and I want to do more. Sorry, I cool. keep making this all about me. This isn't all about you, Panzer. <laughs> well, obviously, a Wowhead party video benefits me and Wowhead, so <laughs> I'm, I'm totally for that. <laughs> and here we go, day one. Like, I streamed, you know, something, and then I, you know, did this interview with Wowhead, and, you know, Perk and I took pictures around, and then we go did Wow well Weekly, so, yeah. I'll go watch up. the videos. Yeah. It's funny, though, because, you know, we talk about that stuff like that isn't also my job. <laughs> So I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited. This will be my first year at BlizzCon as like a wow head person. And I'm really excited about it. And thanks, Perk. Yay. Thanks, Perk. Um, anyways, moving on from BlizzCon stuff, just a couple reminders. There are some holidays going on. There's Hollow's End, which doesn't end until November 1st. And I did make a holiday video on this, despite the fact my doctor yelled at me about this, guys. Everybody was like, this video is late. And you better it was, like the video. Yeah, the video was late because I had just had my eyes cut open and lasered like a jackhammer, okay? Um, <laughs> and then like two days after my surgery, I spent like 12 hours editing that video. My doctor was like, what are you doing? You're crazy. So um, I hope that you guys like that video because I got scolded for it. Uh, then we'll have Day of the Dead, which is a very short holiday. There are five toys and three achievements, and that is tomorrow, right? That is, I think, st like starting late Saturday, but like the main day Sunday. Okay. However time zones are sliced. Um, so that's always like the day after Halloween. Yeah. And, and yeah, the toys are super easy to get, but you just... Get them on that day. Yeah. Well, and there's yeah. the little pet, the little macabre. Oh, yeah. Marionette. He's fun. Yeah. Um, and then there's also the Dark Moon Fair, which nothing new going on right now, but there is some new-ish stuff if you haven't done it yeah. in a couple rounds. Um, it starts on Sunday. There's nothing new, like I said, but there are a lot of toys, races, pets, cosmetic yeah, items. Yeah, it'll keep you busy. You know, if yeah. you took a break for like a few months, stuff will be new. Yeah. 
Um, and then also just a quick reminder is that our Jinx coupon for this month is going to be good until uh, the first. It'll stop working on the yeah. first and then that co coupon code will work for something else, which we'll announce when it's relevant. Um, but what's nice <laughs> is that our October coupon will give you free U.S. shipping on orders over $50, but you'll also qualify for the Jinx Ween, which is 25% off most tees and outerwear, 30% off all hats, and you get a th free goodie bag with every purchase. So if you want to get in on that, now's a good time to do it because you only have two more days left. And But Jinx is super cool, and we'll have a new code in November because, I don't know, they just like us for some reason. Thanks, Jinx. Yeah. Thanks, and Jinx. as mentioned, they have really cool new merchandise. Some of that you'll find at the WoW Hit Party in those awesome mega bundles as well as the faction tank tops and a bunch of stickers and pins. So Yeah. 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 Awesome. So we're really excited. I'm really, really excited for the party. Now's a good time to ask questions if you have yeah. any questions. So, but I'm, oh, I'm, I can't believe it's so soon. I feel like we've been planning everything for so long. I know it has been, like, it's been since April since we, I, I started thinking about I it. Know. <laughs> yeah. no, I know. No, it was like, as yeah. soon as I got on, you were talking to me about the party and then like, you were like, hey, you should host the party. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. Come again. <laughs> so it's just, I'm really excited to be a part of it. I'm really excited to see, you know, the outcome. And I've heard all these things and I've seen all these pictures of like your vision and I'm excited to see it all come together. Yeah. I am most proud of the claw machine just because as soon as I got Pepe, I was like, I have this vision of like a bunch of like little Pepe, like soft. Adopt a Pepe. Plushies. So yeah, we, it won't just, it won't just be Pepe, but you know, I asked people what their cutest pets were. And they told me, they're like, oh, you know, besides Pepe, like, he's kind of oversaturated, you know, Frostwolf pups are super cute, so I got the ones people told me were the cutest, and I'm really <laughs> excited that, yeah, it's just, I'm it just was really cool. I'm surprised you didn't get the dragon, I really like the fey dragon, isn't there a little bright wingy plush? I mean, he just, like, he just didn't seem to fill the space as well as other things, like, his wings could get, like... Come on. Tangled and I'm just like what happens again. if like the claw like I li I like them, but like people said that, but I'm like, oh, these are kind of more expensive and like they're very like narrow and skinny and like they seem kind of fragile, so fine. I also I had all this thought behind the blue Murloc. I was like, well, the blue one is for BlizzCon and maybe white won't photograph well and like maybe pink is like I don't know. I I, I, I stared at all the Murloc colors a lot before deciding to pick the blue one. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I see why you didn't pick the orange one though, because then somebody could accidentally pick the orange murloc instead of Pepe, right? Because there are and then the color. purple one, like I just figured that like purple could get grayed out, but just BlizzCon blue was good, and yeah. you know we've had like we have blue and we have orange, yep. and then we have gray, the, so that was a nice color yeah contrast. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Let's see what we have for. Will Wowhead videos go up on YouTube? Oh, well, we have a whole YouTube channel if you haven't oh, checked yeah, it yeah. out. It's uh, youtube.com slash wowhead. I've actually, that's my job at Wowhead. I'm the video content manager. And I upload um, guides that me and Perk will write together. Like video guides, I'll like edit videos and spend hours and hours in a hole of editing cave. <laughs> <laughs> we did one for the Tanan Jungle. We did one for Flying. We did one for Hollow's End. We did one for Pepe when he came out. And then we also do, I make these little mini videos just showing off new pets, new animations, new mounts. Um, so like the moose that's in 6.2.3. Yeah. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, and then we always uh, upload our VODs there from Wowhead Weekly. And then when we do make videos at BlizzCon, I will have videos specifically for my channel, but I'm sure that Perk will have a list of things for me to do yeah. at BlizzCon. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, there will be BlizzCon videos on our channel. We've been really trying to focus a little bit more on video content than it was previously. And I think it's been going over really well. Yeah. People really seem to like it. Um, and for a while there, there was a lot of, like, <laughs> anger towards World of Warcraft around Patch. 6.1 so I removed yeah. all the likes and dislikes from the videos but like I can see it behind the scenes and the ratio is really good I'm just now afraid that yeah. if I turn it back on that trolls are gonna be like oh no I mean like, like <laughs> yeah before you came on board I know when Olivia was there there was talk about turning the comments even off at one point so you know they were it's, off. when yeah. I when so, I yeah, took they, over they the YouTube off, channel so. they were off and I just went and set a really yeah. strict spam filter <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not on my watch uh, because we love hearing your comments and your feedback. And, like, I try to answer comments on Wowhead Weekly when we get them. So that has to be on. But uh, what else we got for questions? 
What will you do with all your extra time after BlizzCon is over? There will be no extra time. Mark no. my words. After BlizzCon, it's like busy for months because that's when we're getting all these information dumps and hopefully Legion Beta will start shortly after and it's going to be busy. And then you have the holidays. Yeah, there's always like holiday guides and holiday gift giveaways. I meant in real so. life, but that too. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what's real life? <laughs> I have to write a Wintervale guide. <laughs> well... It happens. Um, What else we got? Someone said, how was your experience in New York Comic Con? It was really good, and it was really nice meeting you, too. Uh, Oh, yeah, we haven't even mentioned the WoW movie, and that's really exciting. Like, we're we're probably going to get a Warcraft movie trailer at BlizzCon, and thank you for reactivating my hype about that, because I'm really effing excited. There also might be some more things coming with the movie, which I can't share yet, but exciting things maybe for the site, so... Yay! Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Yep, I say like, like, like a lot. It's upstate New York. That's how people talk here. I'm sorry. Um, um, if beta's announced at Legion, do you think they'll announce a possible Obsidian Sanctum type filler content to keep people subbed? They um, said they weren't going to do that. I mean, they, yeah, I they mean, said they honest, weren't. At least they said they weren't. I mean, that doesn't mean they couldn't change their mind. Yeah, although I feel that instead of doing a raid, they're they're trying to focus on people who do dungeons more. So I think six point two point three is meant to be the equivalent of that, where they added the, the time walking mount and cataclysm time walking, and then the whole mythic dungeon loot system and heirlooms. So yeah. I feel like this is the equivalent now. How they're trying to get more people to actually raid, so they're trying to get them to do the dungeons first, and then you know, yeah, hope, with valor yeah. and yeah, yep. And I know I'm, that I'm not sure doing like Ruby Sanctum would attract as many people as it did back in Wrath of the Lich King. Just it cause... didn't really like. Let's be honest. I bet if yeah. you looked at the achievement for Ruby Sanctum, not nearly as many people have it as right. And now, like the issue is getting people to even do a raid as opposed to like getting 25 people to do Ruby Sanctum hard mode. So, you know, I bet you think six point two. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm just remembering that. Like the the trash was pretty weird. I think. And it then was I was in, like, the night room with the cutters. Yeah, and then the fight itself yeah. was tough, so it's, like, you had all the trash around the outside edge, and then yeah. you went in to do the fight, and you had to have, like, these specific groups, and a lot of guilds weren't even doing it because the loot wasn't significantly better, so, like, there wasn't a lot of incentive to do it, and then so a lot of people Yeah, I remember it. the trinkets were, like, I don't know, like, we did it after doing Hard Mode Lich King, and I was like, okay, well, we had to do this for the achievement to show that, yes, we did server first on everything, but it... I was like, okay, well, now we have this trinket we don't really need, so... Yeah. Yay. It was a weird raid. I feel like that's a romanticized raid in the history of WoW. Um, I think a better... Like, when you talk about, like, the great things about Wrath of the Lich King, I really think the dungeons that came with ICC are, like, a prime example of things that were done right in Wrath of the Lich King. Also, the Argent Tournament for staying power. Like, some people go back to, like do all the pets and the mounts and the titles and all that stuff. They're even fun to solo, though, too. Like, the raid is fun to solo. And, like, I think, yeah, and like you said, there's so many rewards that there's a lot of incentive to go back and do them. And I agree. I think the Argent, like, there was a lot of great things in Wrath of the Lich King. And you hear people talk about Ruby Sanctum a lot, but I don't really think that was one of their... That seemed to me like content for the sake of content, not, like, rich content, I guess. Um, whereas, like, the the dungeons that came with Wrath of the Lich King were so popular, and people ran them all the time, and there were so many cool rewards, and And I liked how, RP. like, the, the zone storyline tied into the lore of each dungeon. Yep. So it didn't feel like a little side note. Um, yeah. Like... Like, like, the zone will culminate in you actually going to the dungeon. Yeah, there was a lot in Wrath of the Lich King that just didn't feel like a side note. And I think yeah. that's why people responded to it so well. And I seriously am still dead set on, I think, dailies were not daily quests, but daily dungeons. Like, doing, like, your... Because they obviously had the Argent Tournament dailies. They had options to go do dailies. But, like, your daily heroic and normal dungeons were something that people did... Yeah, Almost every so day. seems like, you know, that's what the mythic and heroic valor changes are yeah. meant to accomplish. Are meant so. to accomplish. We'll see. I, PTR is still trucking along. Nothing yeah. super exciting with that. I guess Assault on the Pit is now a missive you can buy on the PTR. So if you have Raider Pathfinder, good. yeah, that's good. You can just buy it now. You don't have to wait around. Yeah, that's good. Um, what else? Do you think 6.2.3 will be out a week 
or the week after BlizzCon. Do you really think it's that close? I don't think it's that close at all. So I know people are speculating because they added the Cataclysm Time Walking event to the calendar and it's right now November 18th, but it seems weird that it hasn't been testable yet and I think they'd want that to be testable. And the PTR calendar changes a lot. I remember like WoW 10th anniversary was really different on the PTR um, than they announced it on live. Even when 6.2 came, um, like the dates were all mixed up. I, I remember when they said it was coming out, they're like, oh, Wrath's gonna be the first one, and I'm pretty sure it was Wrath on the PTR the week before. Mm -hmm. um, so it gets all scrambled around. Um, so I think we still have a little bit of time, especially like StarCraft is coming right out um, after all this yeah. takes place. And the Overwatch beta is pretty new, so I don't think it will be right after, but I do think it will be in 2015. Yeah. As opposed to, like, January. <laughs> yeah, I think that's I think that's a fair assessment. Um, do, 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 what else we got? Da, 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 da. Yep, there is a pre-patch launch event. I don't know if it's called Tomb of Sargeras. I, do you know if that's true? I don't think so, but just... I mean, it's something involving the invasion, but I don't think it has a real name yet or a yeah. definite name. Like, Yeah, there will know. be an event, though, and it'll be similar to, like, um, like the Cataclysm event. Yeah, or, like, how there was the... I think it's meant to be more elaborate than the one leading into Mist, but something like Warlords where there was the quest line and, like, you know, Blasted Lands got changed and yeah. stuff like that. Um... But, but, but. Do you think Legion will be open or closed beta? Uh, it'll probably be closed at first and then open towards the end, if I had to guess. That's usually how those things work. Yeah. I'm also not sure um, what they'll be doing about keys, because for Warlords, yeah, there was, like, so many keys, and WoW had had keys. But with Overwatch, um, you know, people aren't getting beta keys. Their accounts are being flagged directly. So, you yeah. know, that avoids situations where people are like, I'm going to eBay this key or, you know, follow me for a key type of deal. Yeah, um, which I so, I do kind yeah. of like. I still think the process of Overwatch beta is a little weird. <laughs> like, does anybody know if Soda Pop has gotten a key yet? For God's sakes, give Soda Pop a key. <laughs> give Soda Pop and beta. Hashtag free soda. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, obviously we will ask for beta keys from Wowhead, but if they're using this new Overwatch tech... Um, well, even if we yeah. could give it away by like getting people's emails and then just submitting yeah, them, yeah, the we definitely to we definitely thought that having a lot of Wowhead users testing Warlords was good because you guys, you know, leave a ton of detailed comments and you know guides like the Wowhead follower guide um, by Tritox, you know, came out of someone <laughs> getting the key during the beta. So we have a lot of you know really detailed positive comments, people that will test bugs. So we definitely want to. We would like to do something similar for our community with Legion, so, you know, we'll be asking Blizzard and drafting ideas. I also thought it worked out really well in Warlords how you had to do something in-game to get a key to show that you were actively playing at the yeah. time. So, we have that contest tech all, you know, still set up, so, you know, fingers crossed something can happen, but, um, you know... Blizzard seems very focused on BlizzCon right now yeah. and not the beta, so, yeah. After BlizzCon, maybe I'll ramp up more beta ideas and yeah. good stuff like that. Um, this I think this is a good question to end on for the evening in that okay. I'm going to flip it over to you so that I can put eye drops in again. Um, okay. <laughs> so, and then I'll talk about mine when we come back. Uh, okay. But what are your like last-minute predictions for BlizzCon? Uh, okay. So I know you I, hate these questions. <laughs> so I think we're going to see... Um, I would think we're going to see Demon Hunters... Um, in some form, because there's a big WoW demo area. I don't think we're gonna see, like, I don't think we're gonna see a ton of information on every class per se, but I think that they're, instead of hearing a, a gigantic class dump, we'll hear stuff on more artifact weapons and professions. Um, like, I know they said that in the schedule, but I do think that we will hear more meaty in-depth stuff on those things as opposed to, you know, 90% classes and then a few sentences about professions. So that's my prediction. I think Overwatch, we'll hear more about D.Va and maybe some other heroes because, you know, BlizzCon, they always announce, like, new maps, new heroes, that sort of thing. I would also like to hear more about the transmog system coming in WoW. I think that'd be pretty fun. So... 
Hopefully that's, you know, serious, hardcore enough to talk about. And for Hearthstone, they always announce, like, an expansion or an adventure or something, so I'm pretty sure we'll, you know, hear something new with Hearthstone. I would be surprised if we didn't hear anything. And I'm pretty sure we won't hear anything for Diablo because it has that tiny little, you Aww. know, sluttered calf in. I'm sure it looks really cool because, you know, it has a really cool atmosphere and the Darkwood Fair area does sound cool, but, you know, it doesn't have very many panels and it only has a tiny little area, so pretty sure we're not going to hear any big Diablo news. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty safe to say. I would say as far as World of Warcraft goes, I think that we'll definitely get a lot more information about Demon Hunters. I think that's fair to say. I think that we'll get a lot more information about the transmog system. I think everything that you're going to see like on the box, like these are the features coming in the yeah, expansion. Exactly. Those are the things we're going to learn a lot about. I think you're completely right. I don't think we're going to see a lot of like I wouldn't even be surprised if when the beta launches like all classes aren't available because like yeah. I just know there's been a lot of issues where people are like, oh, like, we data mined this incomplete thing, or like, oh, yeah. the talents changed after BlizzCon, but we didn't update the calculator, so you guys didn't know. So I just feel that they want to hit on a ton of major topics as opposed to having people, like, latch on to yeah, something Yeah, like, little that, things that yeah. are very tentative. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we're going to hear any, like, groundbreaking announcements since we did get, like, our expansion announcement. I wonder if we'll hear more about whatever Gamescom. adventure mode is. Like, that, That'd you know, nice. anything said at Dragon Con is, you know, we don't know exactly what was said, but apparently adventure mode something I think adventure WoW mode is just going to be, like, time walking everything. Mm, <laughs> like, that would be cool. That's really I what I like think that. it is, because that's sort of what it is in Diablo, but I don't really know. But it would be nice to hear more about. I would love to hear about maybe... Um, like a story mode of Overwatch. Like I know that right now it's very like, oh, this is all online, it's competitive, but I feel like there's already so much like lore. We know so much about the game that there very well could be a single player story mode. I just want to like explore the maps. Yeah. Because they're all so pretty. Like in the one thing, how it has the arcade and it I has all the, the old Blizzard games. And like you were saying, like you can like, you know, interact with them and like, you know, plushies fall out. And I, yeah, I just want to like explore the maps. Yeah, I think that we're going to get one, one hero from Overwatch watch and one hero from like the bad guys of whom I can't remember like the you know like Reaper and Widowmaker yeah, are the yeah, bad yeah, guys people. I think that we're gonna learn about one new good guy and one new bad guy um I think that we're gonna get that map of South Korea like as far as Overwatch <laughs> goes I I mean I'm just yeah. I'm hopeful man I'm hopeful um, maybe we'll get another like cinematic teaser because that was really awesome I loved year. the cinematic I definitely think we're getting a Warcraft movie trailer for sure I think that I I would or maybe just... Heroes of the Storm will like you know how they did the Diablo event for Diablo? Yeah. Maybe there'll be like a Legion event that's announced in the future. That would be cool. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. If there was like a Legion map kind of thing and then like maybe a demon hunter hero well, I guess there's already Illidan, but Well they whatever. could he could have he could have like new skins. Who could there there could be like a Maev, um there could be a Cadgar. Um, they could even have, like, a Tauren hunter with, like, a pole arm. They could have, um, <laughs> why do they, like, they could have Suramore be a map. Yep. Or, like, the the prison could be a map. They could that even be have, cool. like, a, like, break like a Dalaran the prison. kind of map. Yeah. But, yeah, there's a lot of options. Oh, my God, or something like Wintergrasp. Like, I know Wintergrasp isn't coming back, but, like, Wintergrasp was really great. Like, people who didn't even PvP always did Wintergrasp because of Vault yeah. of Archivon. Why is there oh, nothing yeah. like Vault of Archivon? Blizzard. I know. <laughs> it gave so much incentive to doing PvP because you had to do it in order to get the PvE content, which dropped a mount and tier pieces. Come on. Yeah, Wintergrasp also had all the primals and the food you needed for, like, the fish at the time. Yeah. And yeah, I have good memories of there. Yeah, and there was, like, the heirloom gear you could get, which at the time was really exciting. Now heirloom gear isn't even exciting because there's so yeah. much of it, but I don't know. Yeah. And we got off topic there. Um, Warcraft movie trailer for sure. Um, I think we're going to get, like, we've seen a lot of the props and stuff at San Diego and New York Comic Con, but I think we'll see a lot more at BlizzCon as far as, yeah. like... I think we'll see those promotions, like, oh, pose and you get a pin. Like, I think we'll see that, but maybe <sighs> even something cooler. I better get a flipping pin, let me tell you. I what. know, I put that on my pin guide. I'm like, these are pins at other events, but I'm pretty sure they'll be at BlizzCon. Yeah. I need to get one. Good to. <laughs> um, I also know that one of the things at BlizzCon this year is that nobody else is allowed to sell stuff except for Blizzard. 
Like, in the past, like, Jinx had a booth where you could right. go buy stuff from Jinx. But I know only Blizzard is selling stuff, so I'm interested to see, like, how they're going to work that with, like... Because now they're going to have just, like, twice as long of lines unless they handle it differently. Well, I mean, they are opening the shop a day in advance, and it's taking up an entire hall. Yeah. As opposed to that tiny area in Hall A. So, yeah. um, you know, we've been obviously working a lot with Blizzard doing you know, all this party merchandise and this stuff. And they do seem to be really aware that the lines were an issue in the past, and that's why they made all of these changes. Yeah. Um, I don't think anything for Diablo. I'm sure we'll get a couple new heroes for Heroes of the Storm, maybe a new map. Um, I also agree that we'll probably get an expansion. or an, I think it would be an ad- adventure mode, not an expansion. Yeah, because we just got the Grand Tournament. Because we tournament. just got the Grand Tournament. Yeah. So it'll probably be an adventure mode. I wonder Maybe if it'll be like based on, like, like, like Legion. Because it's all, like... Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that Black What if we got, like, Illidan really nice. as a hero? <sighs> that would be cool. He's so cool. And yeah, so and just, cool. yeah, like a Demon Hunter hero. That would be cool. Yeah, it would. Everybody would really like that. It would be like very their popular. hero power could be something like spectral sight. Yeah, maybe cool. they could see like or they have a weapon that's warglave, warglave cards. Oh my god, Blizzard, Blizzard, please! Oh my god, if this happens, we called it, Perk. This could be the thing that we just called. This could be our Lincoln Park moment. All right, Perk and I are calling it. Okay, Hearthstone Adventure Mode based on Legion with a Demon Hunter hero. Okay. Yes. Are you comfortable with that? Are you confident? Yeah, I'm comfortable with it. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> you guys heard it here first. We think that's happening. Um, I think everything else, I don't think we're going to get any huge, huge announcements for anything just because, I mean, we got Legion and, like, I doubt, like, we'll get new information about Overwatch, but, like, it's not like there's an Overwatch expansion. Yeah. It's, it's I not don't like, think... oh, beta starts week after Overwatch because it's like, hey, we have beta. Well, and also, like, the Overwatch beta is really, like, tentative right now. Like, anybody who's playing it knows you're only getting half games. Like, in right. Overwatch, you're supposed to play an offense round and a defense round, so each team plays offense and defense, and right now you only play one round and the game's over. Yeah. Which kind of sucks, because there are certain maps where it's much easier to be offensive than defensive and vice versa. So yeah. um, I'll be excited when they when they open the beta up the way it's kind of, like, supposed to be played. Yeah. Um, and I don't expect an open beta date or anything like that, because no, it's that so seems early way too in the early. testing. Like, we didn't even think there'd be beta before BlizzCon, and now there is. But I did. Those oh. are lies. I announced it. I thought in a video that it was, like, September. I want to say I said September 28th. Yeah, was about then, like, two weeks didn't, off. Yeah. We were like, oh, it's so close to BlizzCon. This won't happen. But I thought did. it would happen, like, right before BlizzCon because of StarCraft coming out after. And right. then it was, like, Overwatch would have been really pushing. Because they said 2015, not 2016. Right. But I do yeah. think that's the type of announcement we will get for Overwatch is, like, Going live fall 2016 right. or winter 2016 <laughs> or, you know, yeah. next holiday season or something like that. Uh, I think it's funny how the Bob Ross marathon happened the same time as Overwatch. <laughs> Ridiculous. Like, it's like, Ridiculous. oh, I'm looking for something to watch. Oh. Hmm. Do you think, I mean, I doubt we'll get a Legion. Do you think we'll get like a Legion? This is the date we're shooting for. I think it's, it's like that's I'm, like way too I'm early. I'm scared, like. but that scares me that you say that it's way too early because they said they said Ian has a costus watcher dev. He said a year was too long in Siege of Ogremar. He yeah. said that. He said so, it was unacceptable. And like we're already what four months in to Hellfire Citadel. Yeah. So my thoughts on this are, um, I'm like listening. If, so they they like they let you buy the stuff before they announce the date. Mm-hmm. Like for Warlords, like that stuff came out like around the time we had Alpha. Yeah. And they made the cinematic reveal date its own separate thing. Yeah. And they hyped that up for like both StarCraft and Warlords. So and they did like a special thing for I think Hearthstone as well with the expansion. Like they I don't know. They had some big event I remember over the summer. So my guess is that we're going to see a similar Legion reveal date in the low between this BlizzCon and when the next BlizzCon that's is scary. announced. That's scary. That's really scary. Like, I, I think that's so, like, too long. So, like, after this, but Because that, that means we're not getting Legion. I mean, if Legion beta, if you're, like, Legion beta realistically is not going to be immediately after BlizzCon. Realistically speaking, we're probably looking at, like, January for Legion beta. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I think... I think we have to see what we're going to see at BlizzCon. Like, I think it could be sooner. 
just because they, like, they did that announcement in August, and then it's always been a few months after they announced it that you get to play, and we're sort of hitting that few months period. Okay. Um, but, like, I think, like, with a cinematic event, like, there was, there, there isn't a lot of time between they do that big reveal in, you know, a fancy theater, and it goes live. Yeah. Like, I remember for MOP, I think they announced it at Gamescom, which was August, and then it went live in September. Mm-hmm. So my guess is that... They're the, going to announce beta at BlizzCon, and then it'll go live in, like, December. Yeah, so I think I think we'll, we'll hear something about announcing or beta or hints at BlizzCon, and when we'll have that cinematic reveal, this goes live date like, a few months from now, and then it will go live a few months after that, not eight months from that date. Okay. Um, so your, your, your thinking timeline is, like, beta will be, like, mid-December. Yeah. Okay. So people can think about it over the holidays. We'd be looking at game going live in, like, April. Yeah, maybe there'd be a big event in, like, February or, you know, March, and then that would be out of the hair of when they hype up the Warcraft movie for June. Okay. I kind of feel like that Legion's coming out the same time as the Warcraft movie. (laughs) Like, I kind of think that for marketing Hmm, purposes, it would make a lot of sense to have Legion come out, say, like, a week before the movie. Yeah, I think it should be a little bit before, because you don't want people going outside versus playing. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It would be, like, yeah. maybe a week or two weeks before, so that hype for the game is like, oh, I'm yeah. playing, I just came back, this is so great, the movie's coming out, which, again, but that makes me nervous, because that puts us at almost a year in in Hellfire Citadel, and, like, I, my guild right now is 2 out of 13 Mythic, which we're not, like, a great guild, and I, I'll say that until right. I'm blue in the face. Like, we're not, like, a server first, we're not. But, like, that's what worries me about that, is we're not a super hardcore guild, and we're already... And, like, everybody knows that Reaver is harder than the next two, so we're very close right. to being a 4 out of 13 Mythic guild, and we're not hardcore, and, like there's no end in sight for this content, and it's already, like, it's already getting old. It's already, like, and I just, I'm scared. I don't want to see people, like, leave the game. Like, I, I, I'll i play. I don't care. I would play Hellfire Citadel. Right. That was the only raid for the rest of forever. Like, Lord knows I'm not quitting WoW, but, like, that's not how the majority yeah, of the consumer base. Yeah, it's harder to, you know, recruit stuff when more people go. Yeah, and I think that there's a lot of things they're doing in 623 that are going to be helpful, specifically cross-realm mythics, because then, you know, you're not asking somebody to server transfer to try out, right. to be in your guild, whatever. But, like, I'm just scared. I just don't want to see people leaving, and I want to see people playing. And, like, when you have these big lulls where there's not a new raid and there's no new dungeons, like, yes, they're doing all these mythic incentives and Valor's coming back, but none of that is new content. That's modified current content. And I'm a, I'm a big WoW fangirl. Like, I'll be the first one to admit, like, most of my opinions are very biased because I'm a big fan of World of Warcraft, but... If they had added some, like, Hellfire Citadel-themed dungeons when Hellfire Citadel came out, same thing with Blackrock Foundry, I think people would be more invested in the game currently. Yeah. I'm scared I mean, that we're not going to get a new raid for six months. Yeah, I feel that, um, why did I just flip my head? So, like, the, the dungeon things are doing in 6.2.3 to the existing ones are all really good and solid, but it would be pretty awesome if there was actually you know, new dungeons, so, you know, you get people hyped up about dungeons, they do all the old ones, and it's like, oh, and now because dungeons have this new focus, here's a new dungeon. Yes, that, if, you know, if they came I, out would, with a, would tie, like, yeah. okay, so they've got 623, maybe they come out with 624, maybe they actually come out with 6.3, and 6.3 is, like, three new dungeons and the event before... Yeah. 7.0, and then 7.0... No, 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 I think the event would be spread out. I don't think 6.2.3 is going to be the event, because... No, no, I would think yeah. this would be okay. a patch after. Yeah. There would be yeah. 6.2.3, and then maybe there'd be a 6.2.4 that would add a couple dungeons and the event, yeah. but the event would tie in with the lore in the dungeons. I think it would be pretty cool if... So, like, the Demon Hunter starting experience mm-hmm. is, like, you know, one thing with the prison and whatnot. It would be cool if there was a dungeon, so you could, re- you know... Well, there is, but it would be cool if there was, like... A dungeon tied to like the prison or like the early part of the expansion, so the other classes could get up to speed um, on that. Like I do like know them that them getting locked up. Yeah, like I do know that you later, you know, go into the, you know, like after the events take place, 
you can all, you know, go into that dungeon and do it, but something tied specifically tied to this early part of the storyline would be cool. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, I agree. I think dungeons would be a good, like, okay, I understand you don't want to put a whole new raid in. I understand there's not even really enough time to for that to be realistic. Yeah. But, like, a dungeon or two, and then that event would really, like make people feel a little more <laughs> and yeah, it just would like really situation. it would just really solidify all the dungeon changes they're doing that yeah you know you could actually see all these changes in a new fresh dungeon and scenery and yeah. you know for all the people that already did the dungeon in 6.0 they could be like oh well i already did them and now there's something new for me yeah i agree all right, we're on the same page. So <laughs> we're going to wrap up today's yeah. show. Now that we've rambled about things that are completely irrelevant to the topic, I'm sorry, that's always my fault. Uh, we're going to go. Uh, thank you once again to everybody who yep. is subscribed to our Twitch channel. We really appreciate that. Also, people who subscribe to Wowhead Premium. Uh, just as a reminder for those of you who don't know, Wowhead Premium is a subscription to Wowhead that will remove all the ads. It'll give you a special color when you're typing. It'll allow you to track quests. It'll give you a customizable today in Draenor tab. There's a lot of perks to it, plus it directly helps the site. Thank you to everybody who just checks out the site and doesn't use Adblock, yeah. follows us on Twitch, subscribes to our YouTube channel, etc., so on and so forth. If you're watching this on YouTube, please thumb up the video. It really helps us out. And thank you, everybody who is watching. Yeah. We do this every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific, although we will not be doing it next Friday because we will be at BlizzCon. So yeah. we will see you in two weeks. And we'll have videos on our YouTube channel in the meantime. And we are going to go. I hope you guys all have a great weekend. Yeah. Bye. Bye. That's not the button I want. That's the button I want. <laughs>